benefit of what is the latest thinking. Um, but in the course of my work with the bees, um, I heard enough discussion to say that uh, at this point, one single cause and very clearly one solution to it has not been evoked. Right. Now, but we know so some things that we're doing, like uh, taking away all of the honey and feeding them corn syrup that might even be genetically modified, as well as trucking them uh, this this almond crop thing where they truck bees from all over the country so they can share their viruses and bacteria with each other before they go back to Montana and Florida and Maine. We know these things that we are doing that uh, and habitat loss and pollution and pesticides and antibiotics that are conceivably damaging the bee. In fact that you'd have to be brain dead to think they did not damage the bee. And yet I hear article after article saying we don't know, we have no idea. Well, and it just no, no, makes me kind no, of... No, let uh, me clarify. Upset. We have a lot of ideas. We do not know of one idea, of one group of ideas that are really there to explain the phenomenon. So we do know a lot, but we don't know that particular way. One important thing that I heard for the very first time is a discovery by two Swedish people that in the honey sack of the bee, normally some up to 13 different kind of lactic acid bacteria live. The amount of the bacteria goes between 300,000 to a million 300. An enormous number of bacteria who normally live in the honey sac of any healthy bee. This lactic acid bacteria are inoculated to the pollen they receive which helps to the fermentation which then ensures the stability of the pollen that they keep for feeding their larvas. Now if you think that when we give antibiotics to bees for one or another condition we kill these bacteria, which are essential to the life of the bee. Now that's a recent discovery to use. Am I saying that this is the cause for the... No, I'm not saying I don't know what the cause for the uh, colony collapse disorder is. But as we get to know more, we get to know that the system of the bee, namely bee needs bacteria, just like we do for digestion, right? The, bee, the normal healthy bees has these lactic acid bacteria, the lab bacteria. Probiotics. Probiotics, right? Mm -hmm. right. Um, that is a recent discovery. Is that the last thing to be discovered? No, it's the last thing that at least I know of that is of high significance that has been discovered and, and examined enough so that these 13 different kinds uh, and roughly the amounts that vary but is in the 100,000 ballpark and that they are used in regular cycle of the bee and they are necessary for the bee to uh, work normally. That's a novel concept, that the bee needs bacteria. The old concept is mm. bee should be protected from bacteria, therefore, because some bacteria, like in our situation, we have some necessary bacteria in our system, and we can be killed by bacterial infections. Well, that's the same for the bee. That requires a rethinking of all treatment and a, an assessment of the um, sensitivity of these acid active bacteria towards antibiotics. I don't know that this was made.
ok that that gives us that gives us a nice amount of information so a lot of people ask me what's going on with c c d and unfortunately i'd say c c d started about two years ago i don't see the bees doing any better the last couple of years i've heard of in fact a very very bad winter after very bad winter wait uh have how about you have you heard of anybody well it, um, it varies any any reduction in this uh collapse uh rate no no if anything it tends to spread um in new york state uh 85 percent of uh, wild colonies have been wiped out um it may be in maine 75 i mean it's high percentage uh, not all states have the same amount some states have much less um, but it's the same story most of the colony disappears meaning the bees flow out, flow out and don't return to the colony we say they get lost we don't really know what happened we do know the negative which is they do not go back what they do we don't know it's very strange because it i i did an interview with a fellow who felt that the the artificial insemination meant that the bees aren't allowed to choose uh queen larvae um and so you're not getting the good flyers of uh you know only a any semen is used not just the semen from the best drones that could reach the queen and so he said well they they conk out before they get home but that would mean a gradual loss of bees it it is an overnight loss of bees that at least it, in my case last uh november they were gone overnight pretty much yes and uh it's as if they they swarm but for some reason they don't leave enough um bees with the new queen to to keep her warm for the winter Maybe right. they swarmed, and and we're not seeing more swarms. Well, the, if, if the, the swarm typically the goes with the old queen. CCD. Yeah, right. I mean, right. CCD, the, the old queen is there. It's not swarming. It's yeah, it's no. not. But they're they're somehow leaving on mass. Is all I'm saying. They're they're. We don't it, know that they're leaving on mass. Like we do we do no, know that they're that. leaving, and they are not coming back on mass. <laughs> They're, yeah, they yeah. may be leaving. If you look at the traffic we saw from my hives, they are leaving en masse and coming back en masse. Yes, right. right. You, it's like a heart. Uh, you That's see right. them come. Now, if you imagine nice that balance. all the bee, all the bees we saw in the air, none of them would come back. 